Okay, what up, y'all? We're back with a brand new workflow. Today we have one anime 2.2 character replacement. I'm tiny all the way in the left, but you're clearly not here for me. I think you saw the thumbnail. So, um, yeah, this workflow is pretty nice. Uh, this is the final result, by the way, if you didn't figure that out. Um, this is the reference, this is the video, and this is the final result. Uh, which I think looks pretty crazy when you you can basically do this locally. So yeah, um, everything about the workflow is explained right here and all the links are going to be in there as well. Uh, shout out to all the Patreon members. Uh, appreciate you guys. Um, I decided to put y'all in the workflows because you're the reason the workflows exist. So that's what's up. Um, I'll just go over it. It's pretty simple, but there's a couple of things to keep in mind. And I think I might just run one, uh, one, one thing. Just meanwhile, while I'm talking. So let's do this. Okay. First thing first. Let me run that. Okay. Um, so I'll just go over the workflow real quick. Um, but yeah. Um, result of selection. I've made you guys five presets. The max res is twelve eighty seven twenty p. Um, it's going to take longer, obviously, if you use that. Um, I think number three, medium resolution is a pretty good, um, pretty good balance with speed and quality. Um, but that's up to you uh, to choose. Um, here, for the reference image, you just want to make sure that um, your character is wearing whatever you want uh, the, the video to wear. That's just how it works. Um, you can try prompting a different shirt and shit like that, but... Um, from what I've tested, what actually matters is the video and the reference. Anything else doesn't actually really matter. Uh, for the model loading, nothing too crazy. I'll give the links to everything, obviously. But uh, the only thing to actually um, make sure you have is the V2 version of One Anime 2.2. Uh, you don't want to use the V1. Um, I heard a lot of people had problems with blurry videos and grainy shit. So... Uh, this is the fix for that um, here so depending on the amount of frames your video has you might want to select uh, every end frame which means um, instead of selecting every single frame we're only selecting the second frame or the third frame or the fourth frame uh, that's gonna make uh, the video blur uh, choppier but we can bring back those frames with interpolation later so um if you do you know every third frame i think it works pretty well uh and you save you know a lot of time because you're only using you know a third of the frame so so yeah uh depending on the amount of frames you have you might need to you know uh cut your video in clips so if you want to use that just take into account that it's based on 77 frames so if it says two here, you select two and your first one is going to be 77 frames and your second one is going to be 20 frames, right? Uh, that's just how I set it up. You can change the mat if you want. You don't even need to use that, but I think it's a pretty useful way to um, separate your clips. Um, and yeah, so this is the pre-processing, uh, the face tracking, that's going to be your body video. And that's going to be the masking and all of this happens in this subgraph right here, which is basically doing all of this automatically. Uh, you're just going to have to download a couple of models to make this work properly. But uh, once that's done, you really don't have to do anything there. Um, and that's actually the workflow. So as you can see, it's not too crazy. Um, right now we are at the uh, rife, so the interpolation is going to generate the frames uh, missing in between. And we're going to have, uh, you know, a smooth video like the original one. Um, and yeah. Oh, it's done. Okay, it's done. Guys, it's coming. The results are coming, guys. It's it's coming right, right now, guys. It's... Hey, it's coming. Hey, hey. Oh, right here. There it is. So, as you can see, the results are pretty good. Like, I mean, 
I mean, the results are kind of crazy. I don't know what happened there. What the hell? What the hell was that? Anyways, uh, that's the video. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, just hit me up on the Discord uh, or the Patreon. This is going to be made uh, free for you guys. And uh, next week, we are going to have a run pod template for the subs where you can just basically spin up the run pod and everything's going to be installed for you. All the models are going to be installed. Uh, you, you'll just need to add your reference image and your reference video and you're going to be good to go. So if you're interested in that, just sub and that's coming up, uh, I think next week or maybe later this week, uh, there's going to be a video for it also. And yeah, um, that's what's up. Uh, appreciate you guys, all the subs and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.